Welcome back to the first show of The Source this semester. It feels so great to be back, and while we know not everyone is here yet, we cannot wait to have a full campus again. But it feels so empty without everyone here. I sure can't wait to see everyone. Anyway, let's get started. I'm Drew Cosgray, and you're watching The Source. As I'm sure most students already know, there has been an increase in COVID cases this week especially. With only athletes, international students, and some students with accommodations on campus as of Tuesday, the DePaul COVID dashboard reported that 13 students currently are positive for COVID. There are 73% of isolation beds remaining. There is plenty of space for students. However, in order to stay open and welcome the rest of the students back to campus, it is really important that we all wear masks and stay safe. We wanted to give you a look into how campus feels for those who are back. We talked to Evan Mangas, a member of the football and track teams, to get his input. Campus feels pretty bare right now just because, I mean, there's still a lot of students that haven't moved in, but even the students that have moved in aren't really able to go out and do a ton outside of athletics and stuff. It's nice that Hoover just opened back up, so some students are able to still go in there and socialize if they uh, want to a little bit, but for the most part, students are kind of just keeping to themselves in their rooms and stuff because they don't want to risk getting contact traced or getting in trouble with the university if they uh, like forget to put their masks up or something like that. Sports are going pretty well for me. Um, I just got to do my first track meet after being in a two-week quarantine, so it was nice to get back out there and compete, but it's definitely kind of frustrating when you get put in quarantine because then you miss that whole two weeks of practices and stuff, but just getting back to competing and stuff has definitely been nice. Thank you so much for talking to us, Evan. To students who are moving in in the next couple of weeks, make sure to keep an eye on your emails. There's a possibility of changes to move-in dates, times, or locations, so make sure to stay up to date. In other DePaul news, DePaul had eight athletes who were selected as NCAC Athletes of the Week. Congratulations to Nolan Ginther, Catherine Douglas, Ricky Alsom, Ford Baker, Io Tunde, Charlotte Borland, Annalise Grimmel, and Rihanna Steeler. What a way to start our semester. While campus is pretty bare, there are always ways to get engaged. Even while still being home, Africana Studies and the Global Health Program are co-sponsoring a lecture on systematic racism and health disparities among black Americans. This will feature Dr. Tangela Purnell, an associate professor at John Hopkins Health Institute. This will happen next Tuesday, February 16th from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. Stay engaged in Black History Month and come check out this event. There are a few other activities you can also check out on Campus Labs or your Cork app. We are so excited to see everyone back on campus and wish safe travels to everyone coming back. During these first few weeks of classes, make sure to take time to relax in this time of uncertainty. We will see you back next time and have a great week, Tigers. <laughs>